So to make your stovetop cleaner, you're going to need some water, baking soda, dish soap, tea tree oil, and a little bit of vinegar. So the first thing you're gonna do is take a glass jar, not a plastic one, because the tea tree oil will eat through a plastic container. So make sure that it's glass, and you're gonna fill it up about halfway with baking soda. Then you're going to take your dish soap and you're going to put a layer of dish soap just like that. It's really just a few squirts. The finished jet dry seems to expand. So maybe I'd say a quarter of an inch layer of dish soap on top of your baking soda. Next, you're gonna take your tea tree oil and you're going to add 15 drops to the baking soda and dish soap. Take a stick to stir with and just mix it in with the baking soda. Take your vinegar at this point and just put a little drop in. Don't put too much because your container will overflow. And then add in your water. So you're just gonna pour a little bit at a time and then stir. Add a little bit more. and stir again. So you'll know your solution is ready when it's fairly easy to stir, but it's still relatively thick with baking soda. If you let your solution sit for any length of time, it will separate and the baking soda will go to the bottom and all the liquid would go to the top. So before you use it again, just make sure you stir it up and then just use a tablespoon to pour the solution over your stove top. Be sure to use this solution with a scouring pad that's made specifically for glass stove tops because any other type of scouring pad will scratch the top of your stove. So last night my husband made chicken and he fried it in a frying pan on the stove. Um, so this morning we have spots on the burner where the frying pan was and if we move over here to the edge of the burner, you can see all of the grease splatter that came off the chicken. So that's what I've been having a really hard time getting off because it hardens and it's really hard to get off even with the store-bought cleaner. So we're gonna shake up our homemade cleaner. Make sure the baking soda is all mixed in really well. Take a spoon and just sprinkle it over the stove. Now we're gonna take our red scouring pad and just start to scrub all the dirt and stuck on grease off of the stove. Once you're done scrubbing, you're gonna take a wet dishcloth and you're going to just take all of that baking soda off the top of the stove. And now you're gonna take a dry dish towel and buff the top of the stove until it's dry. And there it is, your perfectly clean glass stove top. Hey everyone, today I just wanna do a quick tutorial on how to easily remove 
stitches from a rolled hem or any straight stitch that you've sewn and you need to take out of your garment or whatever project you're working.